Hi, this is Cindy Brooks from um, Mount Gilead Library, and today we're going to do crafts that will be piggy and elephant that go along with this book, or any of these books by Mo Williams. Uh, Troy has them, if you would like to check one out. Uh, first, we're going to, it's so easy, first we're going to do the elephant, and this is what he looks like when he's done. Isn't he cute? So first, we're just going to um, make a little, if I can get the cut, we're going to cut it, have a little bit of a space. Okay. I'm doing the other side just like that. Try to do it about the same. And see, I'm just cutting around the circle there. So I don't have to worry too much about it. Okay. Well, first, you really should paint it first. I think you should paint it first. I used glue for the elephant. And I'm not going to paint it right now because that just takes a while. It's got to dry. So after you paint it, you cut these little pieces. And see, here's his ears. And then you glue together the, uh, this is going to be his trunk. Get that off. Just glue it together. And then, this trunk's gonna go a different way. <laughs> We're gonna make his trunk, and actually I stapled his, his first part of the trunk on. And then I put on the boogly eyes, and that's all you do. Let's see if I can hold this up the way it's gonna look when you're done. See? And you, or you could do it this way, make his trunk go that way. All right, and that's all you do for, for Mr. Elephant. And then, the next thing is you, you take another piece of um, paper, white paper plate and you paint in pink for Piggy. You paint in pink and then I just freehand a circle for his nose. Then I cut it out and then I put two I used the marker to make, to finish his nose. And he also cut ears. They're so simple though, it doesn't take long to do. And if you need help, of course your parents can help you. Okay. And let's see, here's the marker. Can I do some little, here's his nose, and so you glue that on, and you glue his eyes, and you take, and you glue, and then I made eyebrows over his eyes with the, um, with the pen, um, and I cut his ears out and glued them to the back with just pink construction paper. And I folded them a little bit so they'd be kind of crinkly because that's where your piggy ears are. And I use this as a, my paintbrush for both the elephant and the pig. It's, it's faster than a little tiny brush. And then to make the tail, you take a pencil and a piece of um, pink, a pot cleaner and you just wrap it around the pencil and then slip it out um, and then you paint no you don't paint you glue the piggy tail on the back and what I've started doing with this with this pipe cleaner stuff if I can't put weight on it 
for this pipe cleaner stuff, I put the glue on and then I taped it so it could dry. And then after it dried, I was I just carefully took the tape off so it would be, you see a little tail, it'd be cute. And so this is what Piggy and Elephant look like when they're done.